Hello everyone, there's a new live portrait web UI app that many are talking about on x.com recently, and it's called Facepoke. This project is based on the live portrait framework and creates a simple web UI that allows you to modify facial expressions just by mouse highlighting and dragging and dropping. You can create various facial expressions similar to how you control the live portrait advanced custom nodes in Comfy UI. This one is simpler allowing you to install it on your local machine and run it with real-time rendering of new facial expressions based on this canvas. We're going to go through how to install this step-by-step -step in this video. The first thing we need to do is prepare our local copy of this repository on our machine. We'll start by opening our command prompt window. For the installation steps, first, we'll navigate to whichever folder we want to install it in, I'm choosing the eDrive, and first, we're going to clone the GitHub project. To do this, we'll type git clone, followed by the URL of the project. Once that's done, we'll see the Facepoke folder in our chosen directory. Now we've started to set up our Facepoke project on our local machine. The author recommends setting up a Python virtual environment, so we'll do that as well. I'm going to use Conda to create a virtual environment for this Facepoke project, and we'll continue after the Conda virtual environment is created. The first line you need to type is Conda create, followed by the virtual environment name. In this example, I'll use Facepoke and define the Python version as 3.10, because that's what this project has been tested on. Once we press enter, we'll press Y again to start creating the virtual environment. When it's done, we'll see a message telling us how to activate the Conda environment for Facepoke. The next line we'll use is Conda activate Facepoke and press enter. As you can see, the bracket before the E drive indicates that we're now in the Facepoke virtual environment. We're in the folder of the GitHub project, so let's start the installations here. In this example, I'm going to use the second installation command line prompt here, which is for the requirements.txt setup. We'll download PyTorch CU124 and everything else. The version numbers for each component follow what's defined in the requirements.txt by the author of this GitHub project. It's nice that they've defined all the components and their versions. Everything is well defined here, so we can just sit back, relax, and let it finish. We'll continue with the next steps once it's done. Okay, it's downloaded everything, and once it finishes, you'll see a message saying going live with an HTTP link to localhost. Let's try this out in our browser. Here, I've successfully entered the page using my localhost URL and the same port number that appeared in the command prompt window, which in this case is 8080. We're good to go now. Let's start playing around with this interface. It's very simple. You just choose a portrait photo and drag and drop to adjust facial expressions. Let's use a previously generated image that I have. Here you can see a checkbox that says show face landmark on hover. When you check this box and hover over any part of the face, you'll be able to see the highlighted area. Here another example, we can manipulate the face and also click on other areas to control face rotations. We can show the landmark for whichever area we focus on. There you go, we've got the eyes open again and when we highlight the mouth we can make it bigger. Then we've got another facial expression we can drag and drop. As you can see, my mouth is moving along with my mouse directions. So there you have it. 
we've got the live portrait with a mouse-controlled user interface that allows us to play around with any of our photos. Another web UI interface you can use is called the Expressions Editor. This is very similar to what we've talked about in the Expressions Editor in ComfyUI, where we use sliders and set numbers for head rotations, eye movements, and mouth rotations. Basically, all these settings are the same as you have in Live Portrait and the Advanced Live Portrait Configuration Custom Nodes. Whichever you use, Facepoke or the Expressions Editor both work well. I'll link to both in the description below. You can simply click on the Hugging Face space and you're ready to play around with it. So check that out. This is a pretty good tool for previewing the settings for your live portrait image to get the best numbers for each part of the face. Once you're happy with them, you can plug those values into Comfy UI. If you're using it, then you'll have better quality generations in Comfy UI with your custom workflow. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.